Are you looking to build influence? Or maybe to drive more traffic? But bottom line, you want to change the game. You've come to the right place. Welcome to the Business Building Book Club. We're going to give you the tools you need to succeed both online and in person. Brought to you by Coach Molly and Three Pines Leadership. Welcome back to the Business Building Book Club. I'm your host, Coach Molly from Three Pines Leadership, and thank you so much for joining me. This is a very different episode compared to our regular scheduled uh, Business Building Book Club episodes. This episode, we are talking about uh, unboxing funnels. We're talking about an actual type of funnel rather than diving into one of the books, diving into a chapter of the books. We're actually going to just live out an experience and have kind of a, a field trip, if you will, from our regularly scheduled classes here. <laughs> So I'm Coach Molly from Three Pines Leadership. This is the Business Building Book Club. You can find us in podcast form on all of your favorite podcast platforms. And also, don't forget to connect with me on whatever social platform you find fitting. I'm Coach Molly with an E on Twitter or three underscore pines underscore leadership on uh, Instagram. You can find me all over the place. Connect with me. Let me know how everything's going with your life. Let me know if you have any questions, if you have recommendations, um, or you'd like to go a little bit deeper into some of the topics we're diving into here at the book club. Our new season, season two of the book club is coming out in just a few weeks. We're going to be diving in to the second book in the Russell Brunson Secrets trilogy. Expert Secrets is the one we're going to be diving into. And you can get a copy. You can see the beautiful book right there. It's been re-released in with a whole bunch of new uh, content in it. So much more value in it. It's also a hardcover book and you can still get a copy for free. All you have to do is pay for shipping costs and you can do that at leadershipmade.com slash expert dash secrets. So that's for our season two of the Business Building Book Club, which you can find in video format on YouTube. <laughs> All right, today we're diving in to unboxing funnels. One of my favorite funnels. I know I say that about everything, but I do a lot of unboxing funnels for clients out there. So let's first dive into where we are looking on our value ladder. So remember our value ladder, we're stepping customers up that ladder, we're ascending them up in value and we're therefore able to um, gain more revenue off of them uh, because we're providing them with better value. But we have to walk our customers up that ladder. We can't just dump them in at the top and hope that they'll stay there. So today we're in the second step from the bottom here. We're circled here as unboxing funnels. So there's a whole bunch of different kinds of unboxing funnels, but today we're going to focus on one specific kind. And we'll talk about that in a second. But the way that this type of funnel works, there's a lot of work you have to do ahead of time before you start building out your funnel. So I want to give you that homework now in case you want to pause this video and come back to it. So what you need to do is you need to understand the importance of an offer stack. So you want to be able to think of all of the different pieces of your product and all of the extra bonuses that you want to be able to offer to your customer. So this here is an example of um, products that I could sell, or this is from Russell Brunson. So he could sell his book. He could sell the audiobook version of it. He could sell a home study course. He could sell a home study course for the next step in his value ladder. All of those different pieces are part of his offer stack. So I want you to do that for your product. If this unboxing funnels are for products or services. So I want you to do your homework and I want you to list off all of the different products and bonuses that you can offer as part of your offer. An unboxing funnel is when we start to take those offers. Um, we start to take that offer stack and divide it up. 
So we're going to take that stack that you've just created and we're going to split it up onto different parts of our funnel. Because remember, having a sales funnel is like having a, cust a staff who's going to walk each customer through their shopping experience rather than just showing up at the store and having a whole wall of products to choose from. They're going to be walked specifically through um, a journey that's designed just for them. So I want you to create your stack, create, add in all of the bonuses, make it as irresistible as you possibly can. Add in tons and tons of value. And then on top of that, I want you to then start thinking about where you can split these things into. Okay, that will make sense in a second when I show you the actual outline of um, what our unboxing funnel looks like. But I mentioned that we're going to be talking about one specific kind of unboxing funnel today. And that is called a VSL or a video sales letter. And VSLs are fantastic because essentially what they're doing is they're taking your traditional sales letter, the one that back in the day we used to print off on paper, fold up and mail to people. That physical sales letter, now you turn into a sales page um, or in this case, you can actually turn it into the script for your video sales letter kind of cool, eh? Um, you can also use VSLs instead of just using it as your sales letter and have it very pitchy. I found a lot of success just introducing yourself and talking about the what you have to offer or the project that you're working on. Having that opportunity to show that authenticity um, is really, really a fantastic opportunity that you should be taking advantage of. And this is the kind of funnel that you can use that in. So not only are you able to sell them products, but you're also able to keep them going on that journey. Because remember, this is all about building and maintaining that relationship with your customers, actually providing value for them. It's not about having a billion customers. It's not about being the biggest in the industry. It's about serving your particular customers at the highest level possible. So let's keep going. Let's keep talking about um, unboxing funnels and VSLs specifically. So say you're a coach or you're a consultant. Well, you can turn your sales letter into your VSL, as we mentioned. And then on your upsell, which we'll talk about in a second, don't worry. On your upsell, you can sell them on a more expensive course that you have. And on your downsell, you can sell them on a payment plan for that same option. But say you offer a service. Um, well, what you can do is you can use your VSL to provide a discount or to provide um, extra training or bundle it um, with some extra trainings or some extra services that you provide. But then what you want to do is on your upsell, because they've built that relationship with you, they've gotten value from you out of your VSL, then you're going to offer them an upsell for a continuity program, a way to continually gain income from this customer and to continually provide value to that customer. It's really um, kind of solidifying a more longer term relationship with that person. So there's lots of different ways that you can use a VSL. So let me actually show you what they look like. So you can start taking those ideas in your head and putting them on paper. So this is our unboxing funnel. So if we start on one side, we have our, our sales page. So you're going to have a catchy headline. You're going to have yourself, um, your video there. Um, and then underneath, we're going to have lots of Brunson bullets. We'll have um, an order page. Uh, you can do your order page in a couple of different ways. Um, we can talk about those another day, but you're going to have an opportunity for them to put their credit card information in um, and to gain what you're trying to sell them. And then if you look to the next tiny little box over there, that's what we call an order bump. That's going to be part of your order page. So it can either be on the main page where they're, the customer's seeing your video or it's on the second step of their order page. 
those are small technicalities. Um, but an order bump is a fantastic way to make extra money um, and to provide extra value. But it's it's a different kind of offer because it's it's one product and it has to be very easy to explain because you don't have any opportunity anywhere else um, to explain what it is. So I use a, in order bumps, I use order bumps everywhere I go. Um, but what you want, what I do is I'll say I'll be selling a book, for example, then I'll order bump the audiobook version of it, for example. So that's really easy to understand the audiobook version of the book you're already buying. Easy. Um, so those are offers that I, I put in um, on every every order form I've ever built. We'll have an order bump now. Um, next page you see um, is upsell number one. So on these are what we call one-time offers. These offers will only show up um, as customers walk through this particular funnel. You can offer that product somewhere else, but this particular offer is only available in this funnel. So while they get to this um, this next page, they have, or you as the funnel builder, have two options. You can have them either see an upsell page or a downsell page. So an upsell page uh, is what you want this first one to be. So that's going to offer them a second service. So we've already qualified this buyer. We know that they're interested in this product because they've already given us their credit card information. They've already purchased the previous product. They can't get to this screen. They can't get to this product offer unless they've already purchased the other one. This is a continuation of that same purchase. So we, they've already opened their wallet. They've qualified themselves as interested in your product enough to buy it. Now you're going to show them a second product, something that connects and makes their life easier, connects to that product they just purchased and makes their life easier. Maybe it's a, an easier solution. Maybe it's a done-for-you service. Uh, maybe it's a training course, et cetera, et cetera. Lots of different options there. The next page, again, they have the option of an upsell or a downsell. This is where downsells are really cool. So an upsell would mean anyone who um, either purchased or did not purchase on the first upsell will see upsell number two. <laughs> if they purchase upsell number two, um, then they will go on to the thank you page. However, if they do not purchase upsell number one, they can be sent to a downsell page. And a downsell page is where you're offering them a lower priced item. So they, they didn't qualify themselves the second time at the second qualification step, which would be that first upsell. So a downsell could be like a fantastic idea for a downsell um, if your first upsell would be, let's say, a $900 training program, um, you can then offer a downsell for that same training program, but instead of a one-time payment, you can give them a payment plan option, or you can give them a condensed or a shortened version of the training course, for example. Um, there are different ways to do it, but essentially that first upsell, that first one-time offer, is a secondary qualifying step um, for higher ticket items. So if that customer decides that they're going to purchase both upsell number one and upsell number two, they're qualifying themselves to start walking up that ladder of yours. If they don't purchase upsell number one, they're qualifying themselves to stay on that same level. You're going to nurture them at that level of your relationship um, and get them ready to start ascending the ladder next. So it's differentiating and segmenting your, uh, your buyers in that sense. So let's go back to the outline here because I want to show you the last page. The last page here is our thank you page. And a thank you page is so important. Um, first of all, it's really important as a business owner um, to say thank you to your customers. So first, take that opportunity. Second, take this opportunity um, to tell them, give them access to what they bought. So tell them where they can get access to that information um, that you've sold them or where they can get their product, et cetera, et cetera. 
say you've put your product in a membership area on the thank you page you can put access information for example or say they've purchased something that's going to be emailed to them on the thank you page tell them that it to check their email maybe even put in the subject line um, that they can expect so that they can whitelist your email address um, lots of different options but my favorite thing is I always say use your thank you page to offer them other products and you don't need to do it in a pitchy salesy way. Just offer, put up a wall, we call it an offer wall, put up a, a variety of images that will talk about um, or send them to different funnels, um, offering them different products um, at maybe the same or lower um, price point. And that way they can stay in relationship with you because once someone opens their wallet, once someone says, yes, I'm in a buying mood, they're more likely to keep buying. Have you ever had those like late night shopping, online shopping binges where you get in your head that in order to be a better tennis player, you need to have um, a better racket, you need better shoes. And by the end of the night, you've gotten hundreds of dollars worth of brand new gear um, and then next week you don't have that urge and you don't go and purchase those same items. When you're hot and you're ready, you're excited and you're in a buying mood. So we want to take advantage of that um, when our customers come through our funnel. So on our thank you page, have available different options for them. They don't need to click on them. There's no um, downside to not clicking on things. But if you don't offer them that opportunity, you've missed the opportunity to do that. Um, so definitely don't be doing that. So that is essentially what our unboxing funnel is. So to make your life easier, let's go back to the diagram and let's list out um, the pages and follow up funnels, etc. that we will need. All right. So first, we're going to talk about pages. How many pages do we need? We need one, two, three, four pages. We need a headline or we need a sales page. We need an upsell one. We need an upsell two and we need a thank you page. So that's four pages. The order bump is part of the sales page. The second thing we need to list out is the number of lists that we need. So this can get a little bit confusing. So hear me out. We have on the sales page, we have purchased or did not purchase. So that would be um, abandoned cart sequence for that one. On the upsell page, we have purchased or did not purchase. On the upsells to page, we have purchase and did not purchase. And on the thank you page, um, they just reached the thank you page. So that is six different lists that you need to create. And each one of those lists will need a follow-up funnel associated with them. So that's six follow-up funnels there. The most important of those follow-up funnels would be any follow-up funnel that delivers a product to a customer who purchased an item. That is your first priority. Your second priority is then to create the lists for your abandoned cart sequences. So those are lists that will get customers who were interested, who were curious, who landed on this page but did not purchase. And there are ways that we can retarget them. We can re-advertise to them at lower costs um, and we can start to nurture that um, curiosity they had and start answering those questions, start knocking down um, those dominoes that are in the way um, and pave the road for them to then end up purchasing that product in the end or finding the right product and offer um, within your empire to serve that customer. So lots of different options for your video sales page, for your unboxing funnel in general. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I want to also remind you or let you know if this is your first time here. Um, if you're interested in learning more about building funnels, I only go very surface level with you guys here, but if you really, really want to take the next step, if you want to start implementing these kinds of approaches in your business with some of the best experts, people who have been doing this and having the most incredible levels of success in this industry. If you want to work directly with them, if you want 30 days of incredible coaching with them for the low, low cost of only $100, um, I can make that happen for you. And on top of that, I'm also offering a fantastic, very small group 
um, opportunity in the upcoming Click Funnels One Funnel Away Challenge. So this is fantastic for business owners, for entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, fempreneurs, mompreneurs, um, and it's also great for those of you who are working as influencers online and doing online marketing or multi-level marketing or network marketing. Building funnels is going to change the game for you. So I invite you to join me for the One Funnel Away Challenge. You can find the links in the bio or the uh, description box or the show notes. Um, Click that link. um, You'll go through. You'll see a little bit of information about what's going to happen in our small group. um, And then it'll take you on so you can purchase the One Funnel Away Challenge. And I highly recommend those of you who are doing the One Funnel Away Challenge for the first time, pick up the physical box. Um, Don't just go for the digital only copy because the box is full of so much amazing value. You'll be amazed. There's an incredible 30 day book, um, which is, it's going to take you longer than 30 days to read through that. I'll tell you. Um, But it is chock full of some of the best funnel builders, some of the best business minds out there using these strategies um, to relaunch their businesses um, when given the hypothetical question that they've lost everything. Uh, It's pretty fantastic. Some pretty amazing, amazing strategies in that book. Um, And the book itself is worth a hundred bucks, let alone the challenge and all of the extra goodies that you get inside of it. So I'm going to stop blabbing on so you can click the link and start registering for the One Funnel Away Challenge. I will see you there. I'm Coach Molly from Three Pines Leadership. This has been the unboxing walkthrough from the Business Building Book Club. Join us, subscribe to us on your favorite favorite podcast platforms. Join us on YouTube at Three Pines Leadership and get your free copy of Expert Secrets at leadershipmade.com slash expert dash secrets. I'll see you again next time, my friends. Until then, remember, I love you and be excellent to each other.